everything she has got to Live Aid, and that's what's been going on all day, of course, performers and viewers as well. The money has been pouring in. We're way over the £2 million pound mark in Britain alone, but here's the man who knows all about the money. Harvey Goldsmith, who's the promoter of Live Aid, you, you've organised all this whole thing, haven't you? Some of it, yeah. Well, people, most of it, I suppose. People may not know your face, but all the artists do, don't they? <laughs> all the artists do, yes. And what's this the man latest... here on my right. Uh, we'll, talk to, we'll talk to Bob Geldof, he's here in just a second, but what's the latest on the money? It's, it's very difficult to be precise, but when I left Wembley about 40 minutes ago, I could actually see 25 million raised today. There are 2,000 calls an hour coming in in America through AT&T and they can't cope with it. We're given a, an understanding that from our auditors who are walking around with a phone by his side, and he gives us an estimate by the end of tonight of about 40 million, which is pretty staggering. Is that what you expected? We set a target of 10 when we started the project, so I have a bet on with Hal Uplinger, who's our executive director in uh, Philadelphia. He says before he goes home, he wants to think, ring me whatever time it is with 100 billion in. But what we've got now is pretty spectacular. Well, let's just quickly bring in Bob Geldof, who's just standing off listening to these figures. Bob, can you come in a second? Harvey's saying he reckons 40 million by the end of tonight. How does that sound? Outrageous. <laughs> it's a staggering amount of money. I was just saying about Hal's bet that he thinks before he goes home, he wants to ring us with 100 million. Who's this? Hal. He just called me before. I know. But uh, we started, the, like, my day started last night when I left the stadium about quarter to 12. About half 11, I got a phone call from a Mr. Simons in Boston, who is donating three quarters of a million dollars worth of medical supplies and hospital equipment, and which he wants to go to Mozambique, and we'll certainly take care of that. But you, First you... thing this morning, um, a lovely nun arrived from the East End somewhere, and asked to see Mr. Geldof, who wasn't there at the time, and just gave us an envelope and disappeared into thin air, and inside was £100, which is pretty nice. And well, it's I'm, been going like that all day. I Sorry. was standing in the foyer of this club just now, and the phone rang at the call box, and it was a businessman on the end calling from the Bahamas asking for Bob Geldof, saying he wanted to give you a load of money. Can you believe that? Well, I didn't get the call. I said, go away. Horrible <laughs> behaviour, man. Well, man, well, I didn't know about that. Where well, is he? We've, we've taken his number. You can call him back later well, on. Well, I mean, it's been going on and on. I hope it doesn't stop now. I mean, I think it's absolutely brilliant that we passed two million in Britain. It's going on for another few hours, so keep coming in, please. The gyro is open on Monday, the post office and all the banks, so... Um, Keep, keep going. going. We'll I mean, remind really. you of all those things later on. Our own phone lines in Britain are jammed solid tonight, but do keep trying to get through if you possibly can. I hear the phone We've got to... actually gone down in America. Yeah, yeah. AT&T's yes. computer packed calls. up. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of repair bills on Monday morning. Let's now join Mark Ellen, who's upstairs in the nightclub somewhere, with someone. Thanks, Mike. We had someone very recently actually just, just rang up and, and offered a Bentley, which they wanted to sell for the fund. Absolutely extraordinary. I have here with me... Another pop person that we've managed to ensnare and not allowed to go home. This is Brian May of Queen. Brian, it's a fantastic okay. day, isn't it? Yeah, great day. The time of my life, I will never forget it. Great. Tremendous. How did you actually get involved with doing it in the first place? Did, did Bob ring you personally or uh, what? Bob approached us at um, a, a BPI Awards, actually, and said, would we like to do it? And we said, yes, but we kind of have to think about it. And then a bit later, nothing was happening, so he rang me up and pestered me. <laughs> So how much do you rehearse for something like that, if it's a special 20 minute set? We do three days, we don't generally re rehearse very long, but um, we did three sort of three hour sessions or so for it, just editing the songs down because we wanted to compress things. And so a lot of things. singers The Who rehearse for 30 minutes, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> that's what they said, yeah. <laughs> It's pretty dedicated. Well, it was a month or so since we've been on the road, so we just thought we need to get in trim. Get in. Mm. But it was just quite right. a different set, wasn't it? I mean, you compressed quite a lot yeah, of your totally, numbers in. Totally, yeah. Actually, I think we should do it that way always. <laughs> it's good. It's fun. Did you meet anyone song. today that you've you, you always wanted to meet? Yeah, a lot of people, especially yeah. people from the new bands, and uh, remade a few old acquaintances. It was a great atmosphere backstage. Mm. I couldn't believe it. It's really. Uh, you a nice thing to be part of. You mentioned Greatest you're an old mate of Tony Yomi of, of um, Yeah, of well, Tony, for many, Black many Sabbath. years. Yeah, Tony's great. He has a very wry sense of humour. He's always winding me up whenever I see him. I never know whether to believe him or not. And Ozzy, of course, is uh, strangely psychic. He predicted the sex and the, uh, the date and the, the weight of both my babies 
I mean, not my babies, but Your my, babies. my wife's babies. We are about to cut to Philadelphia and see right, this is going to Tony be great, see them together, all right? Ozzy Osbourne and the old band reformed once again. Here they are in JFK.